In this episode, let's listen to three different lavalier microphones that are made for recording to your mobile phone. We've had lots of questions over the recent past about which lavalier for recording to your phone is better. <laughs> and I don't know how to answer that exactly other than to let you listen to three of those that we have reviewed in the past. So let's take a look at those. We're going to take a look at the Rode SmartLav Plus, the Aperture A-Lav, and the Gora Lavalier. In each case, I'm recording to my iPhone 6 Plus using an app called the Shure Motive app, which is a free app. If you're on Android, I would actually ask a favor of the audience here. Those of you that have recommendations on which apps you can use on Android or which work really well, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below. Also, of course, when you're recording selfie video or even video of other people using this microphone or any of these three microphones, it will also record to the camera app. So while you're capturing that video, it will be integrated with the video. In each case, I'll be wearing the lavalier microphone just here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I'm using this little thing here, which is actually a product made by Rycoat called an undercover. It's actually a two-sided adhesive thing, and then you put a little piece of felt on top of that. It's normally made for wearing underneath, but I find it's a good location for lavalier microphones in terms of getting the best sound. It picks up less of the chest resonance, and it gives a more open sound. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a listen to each of the three mics. First up here, we have the Rode SmartLav Plus. Now, important first of all to get the right microphone here. Rode originally made a SmartLav. This is the SmartLav Plus, which was a version that followed probably six months later. The SmartLav was not great, <laughs> and I would stay away from it if you find any out on the market. You definitely want the SmartLav Plus if you're going to go for this model. There are some great things about the SmartLav Plus. While it is the most expensive of the three that we're listening to here today, it actually has some, I would, what I would consider more professional features. The cable is very, very thin, so it's easy to hide under clothing if you need to do that. The capsule is smallest of the three that we're looking at today. The foam wind cover actually has a little rubber fitting at the bottom, which makes it stay on the capsule much better and get better coverage. The clip that it comes with also is not only reversible, but also has a retaining clip so that you can actually put a strain relief loop in the cable and attach it to the clip. So with all that, this is what the Rode SmartLav Plus sounds like. Next up, we have the Gora Lavalier microphone. This is the least expensive of the three options. And that's one of the big differentiators. The sound overall seemed pretty good to me when we did our review. It also did pretty well in terms of noise performance. That is to say that it didn't generate a whole lot of self noise, like the hiss that you often hear on some microphones. It is not quite the same grade in terms of fit and finish and build quality. So for example, the capsule is much larger. The foam wind cover doesn't quite cover up all of the, uh, their little kind of slits on the side. It doesn't cover those up. And as a result, I found after my microphone review for the Gora that it actually is a little bit more sensitive to wind noise, it seems. You can solve that, of course, by hiding the microphone under your shirt or under your jacket. So that's not a showstopper, but just something to keep in mind. Again, the cable is about, I would say, a little over a meter long. So you can do selfie video if you're just holding the camera or the phone <laughs> just out like that. Um, but it's not exactly a long cable, so you can't, for example, put the phone on a tripod and sit down five feet away from it. However, for the money, again, $20 US-ish, maybe $25 US, depending on where you get it, um, it is tremendous value. I mean, you can't, I've not found a microphone for this price that sounded better to me. And then finally, we have the Aperture A-Lav. The Aperture A-Lav is a little bit different of a mic. It can record into your phone, of course, but it has a battery pack that comes with it with a lithium ion battery inbuilt. And uh, Aperture claims 200 hours battery life. I'm not sure. I haven't used it quite that long yet, so it hasn't run out. So I can't confirm or deny that, but um, it's kind of an interesting thing. What this battery pack enables you to do is record not only to your phone, but also to your camera and also to camcorders that don't provide plug-in power. So it's a much more versatile microphone than the other two in terms of being able to record to lots of different devices. It also has a much longer cable. It's a three meter cable, which is about 10 feet for those that reckon in feet. And that means that it's much better suited really if you're going to do selfie video and you wanna put your phone up on a tripod a little bit farther away from you the microphone head on the Aperture A-Lav is a little bit bigger than the head on the Rode SmartLav Plus, and it's about the same size as that of the Gora. It does seem to have a slightly better uh, windshield, the foam windshield, and it seems to do a little bit better outdoors than the Gora does. So that's 
what this one sounds like. I hope you found that comparison helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. I'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.